this whole vault. First you're looking for the real, you can find it over here. You can find it over here. You can find it over here. Yeah. I heard you looking for the real, you can find it over here. What up, y'all? What up, y'all? It's my time. It's my channel. Sweatbox, we back, we live, we active. Yeah. We throwing bombs at streams. We talking NFL, but specifically, we talking my Seattle Seahawks. And uh, I had to discuss this because yesterday, the Seattle Seahawks signed running back, Pro Bowl running back, one time Pro Bowl running back, uh, former Green Bay Packer Eddie Lacy to a one year deal. One year, 5.5 .5 million, 3 million guaranteed. Um, so, how do I feel about this? I've talked to a couple of my friends, a couple of. Uh, Diehard Seahawk fans who know what they're talking about and know the game. And um, none of us are sold on this. I'm especially not sold. I've been highly critical of Eddie Lacy throughout his career. He has shown spurts and he's shown moments where I'm like, man, he's a beast. He's a beast of a running back. And then other times I'm like, this dude is soft as shit. He can't stay healthy. I just don't, I mean, he, I mean, he doesn't take the game seriously he can't keep his weight down and this is looking at me I who am I calling somebody else's weight but come on I'm not a professional football player um so I'm not a huge fan of Eddie Lacy but at the same time I have learned many a times I don't like to question John Snyder and Pete Carroll because they know what they're doing so um I'm gonna give Eddie Lacy a chance I said again He's had he's had he's had a Pro Bowl season. He had a Pro Bowl season. He's come in. He's had a couple thousand yard seasons. Uh, he's a bruiser, and a lot of it. You know what I'm saying? While he hasn't had a great year last year, he only played I think five games, maybe six games. But you got to also remember, uh, Green Bay is not known for their run game. So, can he get a resurgence with a team that just loves to run the football like Seattle? Possibly. Look what look what happened to Marshawn when he came from Buffalo. A lot of people. I was very skeptical of bringing Marshawn in from Buffalo because of what had happened in Buffalo. So uh, Eddie Lacy's still young. I think he's only 26. So he's still got some great years in him if he can get it together. Um, I don't know. It's very. I'm I'm really skeptical. But again, like I said, I don't doubt Pete Carroll and John Snyder. Man, they know what they're doing. They know the type of team they want to build. I've said it. If Pete had his choice, he would just have three or four running backs that he could continually go to and just run the ball almost every play and then take play action shots with Russell. That's what that's what won us the Super Bowl. When we were at our best, that's what won us the Super Bowl. Um, when it was Marshawn and Robert Turbin are behind that great offensive line and uh, Russell would just have, you know what I'm saying, Russell was able to scramble and uh, make big plays. And then, they'd, and, then they, and then they put the rest on the hands of the defense. So that's what this team wants to do. And I know they haven't been able to do that and as big as a fan, and a, I'm a huge fan of Thomas Rawls, and I like CJ Procise, but they haven't shown me enough to where I'd be confident in just handing over the run game to them. And while I do still feel like they're the our best options, if they're here's the thing about it. if if in an ideal perfect world, if Thomas Rawls and CJ Procise were healthy and we knew they were going to stay healthy, I think this run game would be exactly where we want it to be. I think Thomas Rawls. Compliments CJ Procise as far as what they bring to what they bring to the run game. Thomas Rawls is a pretty physical runner. Um, CJ Procise is a little more finesse. He's got a little physical, but he can catch passes out the backfield, which is also huge. So, um, so then you throw uh, an Eddie Lacy into that mix. I don't see there's any way. I don't think there's any way that uh, Eddie Lacy competes for that starting job, unless Thomas goes down. Unless Rawls goes down with injury again. And so, and pro size, I just don't see Eddie Lacy competing for that starting job. I could be wrong. He could come in at two. He was weighing at like, I think they have him weighing at like 267. Pete wants him down to about 240, which isn't too hard for a football player. He should be able to get there. Um, so we'll see, man. We'll see. I, like I said, I'm not sold on Eddie Lacy yet. But if they keep him, if he can fit into, if they keep Rawls and pro size and they fit him into that running back group and they use all three of them sparingly and they just rotate him in and out. That could become a very effective run game, and we could do some damage. So I'm hoping for the best. You know I like to stay positive when it comes to things like that, and um, we'll see what Eddie Lacy brings to the table. So, all right, y'all. It's your boy, Mr. Vaughn. I'm going to wrap this up. Until next time, you know what you do. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Good morning, y'all.
Let's go. We celebrating on this one, baby. 